Hi, Adam Basiljet here from Scratch Golf Academy. Today, golf swing release drills specifically stopping the dreaded chicken wing happens to a lot of people. I'll show you the two main reasons I think it happens, and of course, drills that correspond with each. Well, if you're new to the channel, very briefly, we'd love it if you'd subscribe. We'll keep getting you free content. Hit the bell there as well. You'll be notified every time a new video is coming your way. Also at the App Store, Scratch Golf Academy, you'll see our free app has training tools, tempo trainers, green reading trainers, lots of fun. Hope you pick that up. Okay, first issue, first reason for the chicken wing, club coming over the top from the outside. Two reasons that causes a chicken wing. Number one, when the club is from outside, it's swinging back towards you through impact. Your arms get jammed up through the ball. And number two, invariably, when someone swings across the target line, and many people do, they have to leave the face open again, causing more of this dragged chicken wing look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work first on getting the club to come a little more from the inside. It's a significant subject. It's not primarily what this video is about, but I'll show you this drill from two angles. We're going to set up, I've got an eight iron, just a 60 yard shot, and I'm going to preset both my hips and my hands towards the target, creating some side bend. I haven't put my head back, it's centered, and then just hit a little shot, and you'll find this club is moving much more from in to out. Let's have a look at from this angle, show you a way to spice the drill up. So target line here, I put a little plastic bucket there, nothing that would hurt if you hit it, but as I, it's a deterrent for sure, but as I take that set up, hips and hands forward, start to feel the shape swing, make sure if you've been a slicer and you've had such a hard time squaring the face, square it, hands forward, turning the face, not slashing it this way. So here's my setup. Out to the right, I wouldn't want to swing quite that far to the right, but I am telling you, if the club's working this way, there's no way you're going to be chicken winging that way. Point number two, the second reason so common that I see people with chicken wing is they fail to transfer energy from the golf club out away from their body. They fail to pop the head of the club in order to snap their arms log. Let's have a quick look at a pro versus an amateur. You'll sort of get a sense of the differences. Then we get out here and we'll work on it. So as we see this everyday golfer there on the left, club starts to cast away from the body almost immediately. In other words, there's not really much stored energy. The wrists have unhinged. So through impact, it's more just chest, arms, and club all sort of moving in unison, dragging through the hitting area. Contrast that with the man himself here, Tiger Woods. He uses his little but he stores energy, and with all that wrist cock stored back up here, he gets a powerful crack of the whip, and you see his hands snap over and his arms get nice and long there through the shot. I have a gain 25-yard three-part video course, one of my favorite video courses I've made. It's free to you. The link's below this video. Hope you'll check it out when the video's over. Right, now final segment, the next segment, we're going to show you in slow motion on video some checkpoints from both angles so that when you film yourself on your phone, you'll get to sort of a sense of if you're doing these things right. Drill number two, or drill that relates to fault number two, let's say, get a grip down in the fingers where your wrists are mobile and get extra loose with your wrists. They've got to feel really, really floppy like that. Don't key so much on the lag as key on the snap. I promise you, if you have a good grip, you create some wrist cock and you get a robust snap right down there, you will have enough lag. So key on it that way, nice and loose. And again, to really feel that thing pop and pop my arm straight, I have to be decelerating a little bit. You cannot move your chest and left arm too much and do this. So as I do this, I'm gonna feel that my lead tricep digs up against my ribs, creating some resistance. And against that, I can feel the pop. Let's try a little swing, extra loose. I could really sense it. I can feel the weight snapping my arms long down there. Certainly when coupled with a little bit of turning of the face, which we looked at earlier, you are never going to see that chicken wing look again. I promise you, you will have the look of a top player. Just do these things on small scale, make some full swing speeds, full speed swings, I should say, come back to some small ones. Let's try one more and you will have it. I could really sense the weight of the club popping down there. Not saying it was a great strike, but I'm creating the feel I want. Let's have a look at the video. 
OK, first face on checkpoints. We looked at these two swings earlier. Obviously, we said the club casts and then just drags through the ball. But at about, let's say, hands, tummy high, something like that, what you'd want to see, let's look at Tiger at that point, you'd want to see a couple of things. The wrists crossed over. That's turning that left hand under. It's also the, the powerful snap of the club. Second thing, notice how much more chest turn this amateur has than Tiger Woods there. You have to, as we said, you have to have some resistance here to crack the whip in order to really get those wrists to pop. And I think you'd see at that point in almost every case, not only the wrists crossed over, but the club has gone past that right arm. Here you see it's trailing the right arm. Okay, let's have a look at down the line. And the two things we would notice here, let's go from this angle there and we will look at Aaron Badley. How about Aaron Badley? Always loved his swing. So we said here, hey, club comes from out to in. You can see it coming sort of this way through the golf ball. And not only that, you will invariably see the left arm appear visually before you see the club in the follow through. So watch how many frames of that left tricep you see. And then the club starts to appear. Let's look at Aaron Badley. Club obviously going to come on a good plane coming from inside the ball target line. And watch over his left shoulder. You see several frames of the golf club before that left sleeve starts to come into view. Hope this is helpful. Music